hi friends and welcome back to another video this is for maybe here again with another tutorial today is going to be like a continuation from our last video i've gotten a lot of comments from you guys first of all before i get into the tutorial thank you guys so much for the love and engagement on my last tutorial i knew that a lot of us would love the video but the reception was beyond my expectation and i genuinely truly appreciate each and every one of you thank you for taking the time to watch if you're yet to watch that video now will be a great time to to go ahead and watch that video i'm going to link it on the show notes right at the top of this page so just feel free to watch it right after this video to watch any video after watching this tutorial please scroll to the bottom of your watch screen you'll see about five videos in there take your time to watch them and i'm sure you're going to learn and get you know blessed from any of those videos anyway into today's video it's just again like i said going to be a continuation from our last tutorial i didn't think i was going to have to do like a follow-up video Video, but one thing that made me basically film this video is because I saw that Vicky posted the behind the scene footage of her making of her Ashoke outfit for her traditional wedding and I also got a lot of comments from you guys saying that she did not use cup chain for the dress guys I believe I mentioned it in that tutorial that Vicky did not use cup chain but I chose to use cup chain for my own um, version of the video but one thing that's kind of basically blew my mind away was the fact that you guys thought to also educate me thank you guys so much I learned that the method of embellishments that Vicky used in that video is what we call rouleau i believe it's a french word and it basically just means rolling trims together or rolling strips together i went ahead to do some research like you guys told me to do i think someone dropped a comment saying that i should go read up on it just to learn it as well and i also took the advice i went to read up on it and i learned a lot it's basically when you roll up trims to create a form of um embellishment on outfits and we see that that rouleau design can also be used for buttonholes especially with wedding dresses i remember that the dress i wore my wedding at the back it had some loops that were for the button that i had at the back of my dress and that type of loop was used with the rouleau style of um, trimming and we see here in the fitting video i'm going to leave it on the screen as well for you guys that vicky started off you know with the pattern so i went to fashion school i'm sure i've talked about it and i remember i took the fashion illustration class back then and we had this app that we used to use back then in fashion school to basically create fashion illustrations and fashion illustration is something you should also think of learning if you are a fashion designer or someone that wants to get into fashion it's going to really help you in your journey so before i digress vicky did the illustration of the outfit first of all and we see how it looks right here on the screen next thing was her basically doing a fitting she had already sewn out sewn the outfit basically with the we see how here she used the illusion nets to create the top portion of the dress she used you know i believe it's brown crepe that was used for the underlaying of the nets because of course you can't make your dress transparent all through and then she went ahead after creating the main body or the bodies of the outfit how the blouse is going to look she did the pattern of how she wanted the rouleau trimming to be on the outfit and we see here that she used her fabric pencil or china marker some people were asking me in my last video i believe they are probably new here where i got my fabric pencil from i got it from aliexpress and i have a whole video where i just explained how to shop on aliexpress i'm also going to do my best to leave that video on the screen for you guys to go check it out it's going to basically especially for people that live in nigeria and we have all these um restrictions with our regular naira mastercard that video is going to basically explain how i shop on aliexpress and how i make you know good purchases without regrets anyway after vicky basically did the illustration with the fabric pencil on her dress she went ahead to start placing those rouleau trimmings on those portions that she already marked out and of course this is not a hand i'm sure it's a staff that did it but with fashion design you don't have to do everything that's where you know employing people good people comes into play in your business people that can do the job while you're not there and we see how they started placing those rouleau trimmings on different portions of the outfit she talked about how she didn't like the placements at first and then she went ahead to make adjustments to what she preferred basically and we see how she did many maneuvering and manipulation till she got the results that she wanted so even the most trained 
professionals make mistakes so the point is to fix those mis mistakes so while starting off if you make mistake while making your outfit or you do something that doesn't look nice at the end of the day don't be afraid to lose it and fix it right after placing the reload trimmings on all the portions of the outfit that she wanted to place them on she went ahead to start beading in between so with fashion it's just so beautiful that you can diversify how you incorporate different things into different things who could imagine that this reload style of design could create something so phenomenal and those reload trimmings from what we see here it was made out of the ashoki that vicky used for her outfit so basically i don't want to imagine how many hours it took for them to basically create those reload trimmings and we see how stunning the entire outfit looked at the end of the day so you can incorporate anything into anything. Those reload trimmings created those beautiful patterns on the outfit. And we have loop toners. So I forgot to mention while talking about these reload trimmings, you can use your sewing machine to create those um, trimmings or is it reload trims now? <laughs> and then after you've sewn it on one side, you just use your loop toner to turn the loop inside out and you have your reload trim, right? For fashion designers, I'm sure everything I'm saying makes sense. Me, I'm one of those people that preach the gospel of going to fashion school. If you come on YouTube and you think you are going to become a fashion designer from just watching YouTube videos, I, you know, never say never, right? But I don't believe that. I believe it's important to go to a or an establishment where fashion is what they do. You learn the basics and you also learn the practical aspects of things. Watching YouTube videos in the comfort of your home, you will learn no doubt. But I feel like it's going to be easier for you to learn from YouTube videos when you've gone to fashion school and you have practiced things, learned things, made mistakes here and there and basically shared knowledge with a group of people. I remember when I was in fashion school, we were sewing together, making mistakes together. Somebody will sew an outfit at home. They will come to school and talk about it and say, oh, I made this skirt this is the mistake I made. This is how I fixed it. So you basically learn from the mistake of other people and you also make your own mistakes for yourself as well. Go, moving on, we see that the ruler trimmings were placed and after they were placed, the spaces in between was where Vicky now went ahead to, tr to bead. And the bead of choice is this broken glass bead, the one that our local markets in Nigeria call cut cut beads. Anyway, I'm speaking for potter cuts. In the market, they call those beads cut cut beads, but the proper name is broken glass beads. And it has to be one of my favorite types of bead. You guys know, for those that watch a lot of my beading tutorials, you know that I hardly ever make videos where I don't incorporate broken glass beads into because they just have a way of just sparkling and shining and they just look absolutely phenomenal like i always say i feel like the quality of the glass bead or like i have said not i always say like i've said before in one of my previous videos the quality of glass beads that our big designers in nigeria use is different from those types that you get or the quality of what you get from our local markets in nigeria because i remember that i had a couple of issues with my glass beads that i bought in nigeria where after a while especially when you wash an outfit that you beaded the bead starts to change color but from what we see at least i've seen a couple of videos at least two videos where i see that vicky traveled to turkey so i feel like she buys most of our materials from turkey and i've heard different designers even some Ghanaian designers that i follow on instagram they talk about the fact that they go to turkey to make purchases for their tools and accessories their glass beads their broken glass beads every type of bead they buy basically or that they use for their designs they shop for it from turkey and i'm really praying that god makes a way for me as well and i'm able to visit turkey one of these days and basically probably come on here if god tarries and you know do a video just documenting me shopping in turkey for materials and stuff like that so yeah anyway moving on we see the end result of the outfits these outfits i don't know because of all the bad bellies for vicky's wedding online a lot of people had so much to say saying that oh her dresses were basic her dresses were this and that and in my opinion i don't think any of the outfits that vicky wore especially for a traditional married i don't think any of them were basic i feel like a lot of times when people say things like this is from the point of view of ignorance because if you look at this ashoke outfit a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of creativity went into the making of the dress maybe it's not the typical you know loud and very extra outfit of which this outfit outfit is extra in my opinion because i mean look at the ruler trimming that we have on it it's a lot it's a lot and i can't imagine how many hours it took for the placements to be done on both the blouse and on the skirt and different people with their different you know methods of thinking but the outfit looked absolutely phenomenal and we also see that she put some of the reload trimming on the skirt as well and the end result looked incredibly fabulous so 
this is pretty much it for this video i just wanted to talk about this style of trimming and also you know give you guys feedback i saw your comments i saw everything and thank you guys to you guys that introduced me to this ruler trimming i never heard of it before now some people even said it was cords but no after i did my reading online i saw that it's actually the ruler method that she used to create the trimmings from from the ashoke outfit that she used for the skirts because most of the ashoke was actually for the skirt the blouse was mostly I, I don't even know if it's corset mesh or crepe but it's gorgeous and she used the ashoke fabric to also create the ruler trimming and it looks absolutely fabulous you can incorporate this into your own style as well you can use this for anything on a t-shirt on a skirt on a blouse on a cap i feel like if you even want to make a fascinator you can incorporate this ruler style into the fascinator and to create something incredibly fabulous like we're sitting here just recording this voiceover i just have different ideas using this method of creating appliques it's a form of embellishment in my opinion as far as i'm concerned and i believe you can use any type of fabric you can use crepe you can use jeans you can use ashoki like you saw here you can use any type of fabric to create this reload trimming and incorporate it into your style and incorporate beading as well you see how beading and the reload style were done in such a very beautiful and aesthetically pleasing way and the end result looks fabulous i spoke about corset mesh for those that are new here i have a video where i talked extensively about items the types of fabric that you need to have in your collection if you want to start doing corsets or just bespoke outfits these bespoke outfits they've been invoked since like 2021 till now 2024 we see a lot of our designers using these styles of you know outfits to create something fantastic i know some people don't really care for corsets but i'm not mad at it if it's done properly the only time when it gets to me is when i see corset done in a very terrible way and they just make the people wearing the outfit look ridiculous right but if corset is done properly it looks fabulous on people right so if you've not seen that video go watch it i talk about different fabrics i talk about corset mesh i talk about skin tone net or skin tone mesh or skin mesh i talked about organdi organza different types of fabric in that video and it's also doing very well on my channel i'll do my best to link it on the screen i hope you guys enjoyed this video i just wanted to talk about this ruler design i like to i get excited when i learn new things and i like to also come on here to just share it i don't like to just keep knowledge to myself so after learning about this ruler design from you guys in the comment section i thought to also make a quick little video just talking about my findings with you all as well if you enjoyed watching this video please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up if you are new to bidding i have a whole playlist called bidding tutorial on here on my channel where i just talk extensively about different styles of bidding my channel is university of bidding on youtube if i do say so myself so go watch that playlist if you are new to bidding and you want to learn if you enjoyed this cute little analysis slash educative video please be sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up if you're not subscribed please subscribe to this channel i love having new people on here on the channel and connecting with you guys through the comments and through my instagram dm so if you're not following me on instagram as well i know i've not been posting on there for a while guys for those i don't know i recently <laughs> had to move and it's just been a lot of me and so much is going on in my personal life and ah, instagram has not been something i'm interested in posting on but i come there especially on my stories to just show my face and just share things with you guys so feel free to go follow me on there if you like connecting with your favorite youtube content creators on their personal platforms where they share other sides of themselves go follow me on instagram tiktok as well i'm active on those platforms thank you guys so much for watching and yeah besties i can't wait to see you all in another video very very soon bye bye